What is up guys, this is Tony Mac with another video and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you how can you flash a custom ROM on the Poco A5. So yes, the brand new era begins for the Poco A5 5G. Finally, we have the Evolution X ROM test builds available for the Poco A5. It's not even a month that the device started getting sold and already the sixth beta build for the Evolution X ROM and that's just insane I feel. And this is the reason why I have bought the Poco A5. So let's begin. So here on the Poco A5, I have MIUI version 14.0.3 running and in here I have already unlocked the bootloader. If you don't know how to unlock the bootloader, you can watch the video from the description or the cards. And right now, as you can see in the Mi Unlock status, it actually shows the bootloader is unlocked. So I will try to flash a custom recovery that is TWRP and of course I will be trying to flash a ROM. So let's just continue and let me show you how can you do that. So first of all, of course, we need to reboot to the fast boot and for that we have to long press the power key and we need to reboot the device into fast boot for that you just click on reboot and then just hold the volume down button and as you can see right now it shows fast boot if you cannot boot into the fast boot just press and hold the power button with the volume down button it will eventually reboot into fast boot mode so right now i'm going to be connecting it with a usb cable to the pc now let me show you on the PC what we need to do. So from this XDA thread of this ADB drivers, you will get the ADB drivers and this is a zip file basically. As you can see the version is 143 and you just click here to download the zip file. And from this SDK platform tools, you will download the platform tools if you really need that. Sometimes I don't really need it but I'll show you for convenience. As you can see this is the platform tools for Windows that I downloaded. And again, this is the zip file that I have downloaded and extracted it in this particular folder. Choose copy because I have another folder of this same thing. So yeah, let me just open it. And here also I have copied the TWRP that I got from the Evolution Access support group. So do check the description for all the files. So if you do not have ADV drivers installed on your PC, you just double click here and this will pop up. It shows that if you want to install the ADV drivers, just type Y on the keyboard and just press enter. And here it shows install ADB driver system wide. You press Y and hit enter again. You need to do this actually three times. And again, we have this do you want to install device drivers? I'll click on install. I mean, I'll press Y and then hit enter again. It will give you another pop up like this. Just hit next and finish. And it shows all done. So right now we have ADB drivers installed successfully. And I have already connected the device again with the PC. And right now I just opened this platform tools folder and here we also have the TWRP again and on the blank area in Windows 11 if you just click right you will get this open terminal option but if you are on Windows 10 just hit shift on the keyboard then right click you will get this terminal or command prompt option then just open that and this is how it looks like here I'll just type fast boot devices and here as you can see we are noticing a fast boot device Okay, so now as I have renamed this TWRP TWRP.IMG, I'll just hit the command with the recovery flashing command. Passboot flash recovery space TWRP.IMG. I just did that because I have this name to TWRP.IMG. If you have it on recovery.IMG or whatever it is, you can just type it there or you can just drag and drop it after you give this particular comment until this passboot flash recovery text. Then I'll just hit enter. And looks like we have successfully done it. We have flashed it web recovery on the device. So now let me just switch to the device. I'll just press the volume up and the power button together to boot into the recovery. I heard something. I'm keeping the volume button pressed, the volume up button actually. And we have successfully booted into the Twitter web recovery. Now the texts I think will be in Chinese. We have to actually decrypt the data. So let me just enter the lock screen pin. So from the bottom right, you will press this particular button. The second top from the bottom right, this is the button that we need to press first to change the language. And by the way, the TWRP version over here is 3.7.0 underscore 12. It shows Poco A5 underscore version 7.8 underscore A13. And of course this can change in future. So don't like get too much into it because in future we might be getting orange fox recovery and stuff all those things but this is for the initial guide guys so i'll just press here and then we need to press in this globe icon and once you do that you will get a lot of languages and from here of course you will select english and i think you press here 
and as you can see our tw recovery is right now totally in english we can read install wipe i'm going to format the data so i'll just hit wipe and from here i'll click on format data and we have to type yes and after that hit write so it shows formatting i think is done getting partition details done so right now i'm gonna just reboot the recovery once see what happens shows the poco logo and yep it's re rebooting to the Twitter recovery so here i have the evolution x rom zip file actually this is the test build 6 and this is what i will be flashing so it is about 2.77 gb here it shows i'll just copy the zip file so let's open this so i have opened the poco f5's internal storage on the pc and it is showing up let me just create a folder here and let's just name it i'll just name it kdm for convenience because i use that downloader and right now i'm just pasting it and it's getting pasted here so let's wait for the time being okay so the copying is finally done here i'll just click on install and the adm folder pops up i have already formatted the data so i'll just go into the adm folder and let's just select the zip file and here we have a lot of toggles actually we have to enable this particular toggle i think which says automatically reflash after flashing around because otherwise it will reflash with the evolution access recovery right now kind of so yeah i'm just selecting this automatically reflash after flashing let's check the other toggles that shows disable auto reboot after update but yeah we have this reboot after installation is complete i mean these two seems a little bit conflicting to me <laughs> but yeah i'll just go ahead and flash it and reboot manually so i'll just swipe to confirm and right now i think it is flashing so there are a couple of slots right now as you can see it shows flashing a b zip to inactive slot a so let's just wait for the time being and i can i think remove the usb cable because i'm doing everything from the device it shows some error failed to mount system root and stuff i don't know if it's a error or something but i'll try to reboot to actually see if it boots so let's just click on reboot it actually shows some slot slot a and slot b but i will just hit system let's see what happens i hope it doesn't get bricked so we can finally see the evolution access boot animation and that's a relief for me at least and it's a beautiful looking animation of course we have on the poco f5 finally so let's just wait for the time being and we have the setup screen i feel awesome here so as you can see it's in dark theme looking so beautiful on the poco f5 it shows welcome to your pixel so i'll just continue with the setup and let's see what happens so let's select the language get started i'll skip this and let's connect to wi-fi and it is already feeling really really smooth while i was typing the password of the wi-fi and here i'm gonna continue with the setup with my redmi k20 pros and here i'm just gonna connect this usb cable let's see let's try the fingerprint scanner and it seems like it's already working so again that's a huge relief that the fingerprint scanner is working already on the test build 6 of evolution x rom and by the way a fun fact is that from the k20 pro i already have evolution x rom on the k20 pro and from there i am restoring a backup on the brand new poco f5 with the evolution x rom and yeah the legacy continues and as you can see the fingerprint scanner setting up is done let's hit next so finally we have this all set and here i will just swipe up to go home all right we have the home screen of evolution x <laughs> this is just insane and i'm running the stock android is 13 on the poco f5 i'm feeling this inside me so yeah let's just go into the about section and this is how it looks in the dark theme evolution x i'll just decrease the brightness a little bit yeah brightness slider is working fine no issues and here we have the android version as 13 the evolution x version is showing as 792 pans it for marble official build it shows here and the security patch is of may 5th 2023 i'm totally fine with it the build date here is of 9th june 2023 and the build maintainer is of course show up and shamik so huge thanks to the developers of this rom that they finally made it happen so quick this is just insane 
and we have this is next series again showing us enforcing right, so i'll give the permissions and stuff let's open camera let's see if it's working yep this looks like a gcam go but i'm fine with it as of now maybe we will have the MIUI camera and stuff later on but right now as of right now i would say the gcam go is perfectly fine yep it looks like the front camera is working you can see the camera itself where i'm shooting the video on and you can see me and this is how it looks like it's a decent it has noise and stuff that's gonna be fine with future optimization this is again test build not even a stable build as of yet let's see the apps okay so i didn't show you all the apps but yeah these are the apps and some of the apps are getting restored right now because i restored my google app data backup and in terms of drm info yep it shows as l1 so this is a relief again so netflix or amazon prime videos will be working in 1080p i don't think the safety net is passing as of now also the safety net will not pass even in me why after unlocking bootloader on the poco f5 which might be a bummer for a lot of people even for me it was when i saw that instead of that i would just rather use the evolution x from here so i'll do a separate complete review and i'll need some time to actually test it so do stay tuned for that guys and this is how you flash a custom rom on the poco f5 share this video with your friends if you feel like please hit the thumbs up button if you liked it subscribe to the channel if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today and i'll be catching you guys in the next one bye, -bye now